feel like there are some people who should not be putting out relationship content do you feel do you also feel like there is a group of people who you would deem unqualified to speak on these topics personally yes um man you know it's real interesting i'm so busy with my play brother that i don't really look across the aisle there are other there are content creators that i don't particularly vibe with i don't like their rhetoric i don't like the way they speak um to women in general um yeah. Well, but there I'm, are I'm, not being, I'm not being specific about any mm -hmm. one person. I just mean like, yeah. do, do you more so? Because obviously Tony pretty much stands on if you're not married, like you should not necessarily be putting out this work. I think that's probably I, to respectfully, man. I think that that is. Um, or or you just have to frame is, the conversation. You have to frame I the think, conversation. You have to say this I, is not relationship advice. This is my dating experience. Brother, I don't really think that I don't. This to your point. Experience. To, to your point and to answer um the question before do i feel like that there are people that are not qualified to give general advice or relationship advice to a large person uh percentage of uh, the population absolutely i think that there's people that are not qualified to my metrics you know what i'm saying i don't have a problem with somebody getting up here and saying this is why i think this or i think that but what i am saying is for us to not acknowledge the diversity in people and thought processes and ways in which relationships and love can work for many different people. That to me is hard to wrap my head around. Um, that's, that's the thing that I want to say. It's hard for me to wrap my around. It, it sounds elitist. It sounds like, you know what I'm saying? And then when you say something, Tony, respectfully, when you say you're working for the other side, brother, that's why a lot of people struggle. Cause I, you know, I, I'm, I think you're implying that the other side is the devil, right? Is that what you're implying? Meaning you're working for the other side of providing confusion, because if you have six voices on a stage and there's six different messages, people leave more confused than they came. And if the people who we are seeing by the millions are not saying anything worthwhile, but it's a it's a meaningless back and forth conversation that does not bring a solution, that does not help us build families, that does not help us better raise children, that does not help us climb the ladder as a people, as a group who are struggling economically, struggling relationally, struggling in every way. When we provide conversations that only bring confusion and don't bring clarity, it don't seem that's what like I mean by you working it for don't the other seem, side. It you don't seem the like side. it it really don't seem like, in my opinion, you actually pay much attention to what we got going on over here, brother. And that's respectfully. I'm respectfully you, saying that. I'm, I'm respectfully. I'm, I'm respectfully saying when you you you, I, you can use the adjectives you want to use, and then you don't empty messages. You can use all these adjectives, but just because you're making these blanket statements, that's why I said it's dangerous. It's dangerous when you're making blanket uh, statements Bro, without having all the factual it's information. Not a statement. It's not a blanket. It is a blanket statement. You're making I'm blanket listening. statements, I'm and listening. you're putting people's names in it. You're putting people's this. names in it. I'm living this as a husband and a father. your truth. Your truth, which is successful for our for you and for our community. It's not just for me. Principles right. are principles. So, right, so but your you principle, you don't you're not the only person with principles. You promote so, you're promoting casual sex, you're promoting who? hookup culture. And, and who, then you who, say who, you bring it. Let, who, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You having a conversation, you having a conversation. You watching me online, you say you appreciate my message. Why haven't you called me to your conversation? You know what? Why why he doing all that? Look, why you doing all that? Now listen. That's my point. You say you bringing all that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You doing all that. You doing all that. How you not gonna call somebody who got three and a half million people online and have been in the trenches since 2007, but you bringing all the sides. You ain't bringing all the sides. You ain't bringing all, all the time. You, you bring all in the side that you want to bring. And then you're trying to take uh, me to task for my words. And you're trying to hold me for every word. But you didn't catch that you just call what you're doing a play. I call what I do purpose. What do you? I don't know what you mean about a play. You just said I'm so focused on my play. So my so, plate, plate, P-L-A-T-E, plate. Um, This is the last. I, I messaged you March 10th. 
Yo, would love to feature on my podcast. We're shooting April 28th, 29th. Any interest? And then it was like an automatic reply that said you don't receive messages. So I didn't attempt that way again. Well, Brother, well like, yeah, respect media, bro. I got a website, man. You know how to get. Him and Ace, by the way, that's but, enough. That's yeah, enough for yeah, the stage. Yeah, Just him and Ace. Because you know you can't put this Ace. You know you can't put a brother like this on the stage with anybody that's even halfway single. Now here's the thing. Here's what I want to ask about this. I don't, hey, listen. I don't mind being single people. What I'm saying is frame the conversation. We can't let it go out as relationship advice. This is a single experience, or this is a hookup experience or this is i'm a divorced and i'm telling you what went wrong in my marriage but this is going out to the millions as relationship advice and so what Look. i'm saying is if you send the message of a single man who is having sex with women and dating if you send that message viral give the equal pressure and push of the therapist that you say you have on there or the married person that you say you have on there who is happy and healthy and do that mm -hmm. split test of a and b so that it balances the conversation any okay it was me no uh i said case in the back and then we'll go to the roof My bad. yeah um, Crazy. I think I think you can see a clear, distinct difference that Tony is about his business, and he's about his community, and he's about his people. Um, I'm not really that familiar with Ace metaphor and like and what he talks about. I do know he's a part of tonight's conversation. I I have seen a lot of clips of the women from their panel and their shows. And it does give dating culture. It does, it doesn't give, I'm trying to be married. It doesn't give, I'm trying to live a righteous life. It doesn't give um, order and community. It just doesn't from the clips that I've seen. And I, I've never watched their podcast ever, but I've seen their clips. So with that being said, I think um, they're saying two different things. Tony is really focused on the community and what his purpose is for doing his podcast. He's, he was one of the pioneers for a relationship talk. He's been on social media since 2007 or 80, say it. Um, and tonight's conversation is a, a newer situation, a newer uh, podcast to YouTube and, and social media. So I do feel like he was kind of, um, what you call it? He was kind of drowning in the conversation, fighting for what he believes. And I know that I, I feel that people truly believe what they believe, but social media, it is, he said, he said plate, but it is a plate, right? Money's involved. Um, it's a, a lot, lot of, of character. It's a lot of caricatures involved. It's a lot of people that are saying things because they know people want to hear certain things. Not necessarily that they stand by it or that it's principled, but this whole conversation of, oh, you married, would you know what's going on in the dating? I, I feel I feel it's I feel it's um disrespectful. I feel it's a, it's disregarding to people who are married. Uh that like they keep saying on different on different shows, there is nothing new under the sun, right? Mm -hmm. You have a girlfriend, you have a boyfriend. The same principles apply today, like Tony said, that it did apply to it's 2024. It applied, the same thing applied in, 20, in 1904. Mm -hmm. You have to treat people with respect. Mm -hmm. You have to listen and have communication. The foundation of a relationship is exactly the same today as it was 100 years ago, right? There's different perspectives. There's different nuances with social media and our society, our economy, uh, feminism, women working, all, yeah, you can throw all of that stuff in there. But at the end of the day, when you strip a relationship down to what it is, it's two individuals that need to work together, that need to build a life together, that need to communicate, that need to be in tune, that need to be in lockstep with their beliefs, how they want to move forward with each other, children, a family, their life, where they live, how they work, all of that stuff is exactly the same. So, to say that he's out of step or out of tune 
with what's going on. He had Tony had a major point in what he was trying to prove. Yeah, have your conversation, but don't label it as relationship advice. Because if these people are looking for advice to be married or to having a mate or having a long-term relationship or having a family, what you're doing, he I hate I don't want to say he's he's putting a damper on it. It is putting a damper on on it on his money bag. And I, I think that's why he felt so offended by Tony. Mm. He felt offended and he felt that he needed to protect his brand and he needed to protect his nest egg of what he got going, what he has going on. I understand that. But Tony had a major point in every single thing that he said. So I'll end it there. Yeah, Marcus. Oh, we got to go to Roof and then I'll come back to you, Marcus. Go ahead, Roof. Um, I would shout out to Ace Metaphor. He got me out of a bad situation. <laughs> like, he's literally good for, like, when he's talking about men, he's talking about them F boys. And I was dealing with one. And he got me out. I went to one of the shows. It was some ratchet behavior going on. I was personally there. I was kind of like a fish out of water. Um, but um, it was a good vibe. And um, yeah, it is more so like, I think they're, they're both right. One is on a dating level, but not serious. And that's what Ace is all about. You're dating and you just messing with people. You just can't find your mate, blah, blah, blah. Then it stops to a certain level. But when I got serious, well, I was I was trying to be serious, but I was playing myself. So when I got out of that situation, I, I was listening to Tony and that prepared me for a better mindset of how men think and, and, and things like that. So shout out to Tony for that. Um, I think that he was being very respectful. If you watch the rest of the conversation, um, um, Tony, <laughs> he was like, take that bass out of your voice, young man. You know, he was getting real, like he got some pride to him. You know, he Christian, but God's still working on him. But he, he has some pride to him. So sometimes he say things that's so extreme, like you're working on the devil side. And I, I mean, yes, it, Christians will think that way. But at the same time, he, he is, Ace is trying because he has Kitty on the platform. He has, um, um, you said Trill. These people are married. They're, they're serious about relationships. So even if he was at a certain level, maybe he was grown and developing and said, I want to add people that can add to my platform and I can give even better and deeper advice. So shout out to both of them. I hope they can work it out. Well, Marcus. You muted. So that was the point I was making from the very beginning that it's levels to this and Tony, the message he he's he's preaching, if you if you can get people from 16 to 24 with no relationships or no kids, no additional anything, then you could drive that message home with them and, and correct the and make that the proper process to get them from point A to point point Z. But we're not in that world. We like I say again, we're it's blended families and it's people who when you invalidate them, you discard them. Those discarded people will become worse if we don't have some type of formula to get them back on track. That's so why I'm, I'm glad Ruth explained. She said she was in a a, 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 a a relationship that wasn't the best suited for her. And now she's moving it to the process. A relationship. You said what? <laughs> it wasn't a relationship. It was a situationship, technically. But, well, but, Mar but Mark it helped her. But Marcus, I don't think, I don't think Tony the, is just, the he's not discarding. Saying. He's not just starting with what Ace is doing. He's just saying don't label it as relationship advice. Tony's not saying that whatever they're talking about doesn't need to be talked about. I don't think I, I think you got to see the whole clip to really understand what. Yeah, I, I didn't watch. I didn't watch the whole yeah, thing. Tony's but... not saying, "Oh, what you're doing is just the worst thing ever." He's just saying you're labeling it as relationship advice, and you're you're being pushed to millions of people and basically promoting a lifestyle that should not be promoted and pushed to the forefront within our community, basically saying that labeling it as relationship advice and the, the conversations that you do promote should not be pushed to the forefront. He's not saying that he shouldn't do what he's doing at all.